Okay, so I just pulled up to my lip blushing appointment. I'm going to take you guys along for it. So it's basically like a cosmetic tattoo on your lips. And you can change the color. You can define the outer line of your lips more. It's something that I have been interested in for years. And I stumbled across this girl on Instagram. I think a friend showed her to me who does it. And her before and afters look so natural and so amazing. So I have been wanting to come to her for months. And she was closed because of COVID. But now she's open and I have an appointment today and I will take you guys along and show you the whole process but I am super excited. It's getting kind of dark out so it's going to be hard for me to show you or hard for me to get any better lighting but here is a little before of my lips. So I don't have anything on them right now except for just a like a lip balm just like a clear if it would focus. There we go. So that's the before. So this may seem excessive to some, but I have just always been interested in beauty treatments like this. I love little things that you can get done that make getting ready easier and faster. And I kind of think of myself as like about, think about a magazine editor. You'll see an article and it's like, I tried, you know, microblading or I tried lip blushing and this is what my experience was. Like I think of myself in that way. Like it's my job to try things and report back and let you guys know what the scoop is. So yeah. Let's do it. So if you feel a little tingly, it's completely normal, okay? Mm -hmm. Sit them on me. Thank you. And then for like about 15 them for like five minutes and then I'm gonna finish off the second dirt pass okay <laughs> I can't even look at myself okay so obviously my lips are super super <laughs> super swollen right now um this isn't I mean, I, this is normal, but she said this doesn't really happen to everyone. They were not this swollen at all, and then out of nowhere, they like puffed up really, really big. Not ideal, but she said it'll go down within a few hours. I'm gonna go home and take some Advil, and I think that will help, but my dilemma, you guys, is that I have to go home to Gerald. He's a boy, he wants everything to be natural. He doesn't want me to do anything to change myself. He thinks I'm perfect. You know the drill. Um, but I wanted to get it done. And I told him that it was gonna be super natural looking and that I wasn't <laughs> gonna look crazy. And um, I really didn't think I'd be swollen because I don't usually react like this to things. So now I have to go <laughs> I have to go home and I look like a fucking fish. Okay, so I am on my way to my second lip jelly appointment. I'm so excited. I feel like I've been waiting for this for so long because my first appointment was back in October, I believe. And then she had to shut down her studio again due to COVID. Then she ended up moving to a new location and like redid the entire thing. It looks so freaking cute. I'm so excited to see it because it looks all just like pink and aesthetically pleasing. So she moved into a really cute spot in Pasadena and now we're finally doing my second appointment and I'm so excited about. At the first appointment, we really just focused on color correcting certain spots on my lips because I had some like darkness and cool tones that I didn't like and I just overall wasn't happy with the color of my lips. They can be kind of dark. A lot of lipstick shows up way differently on me than it does on other people because I have pretty dark pigmented lips and I don't have very defined edges. So I always like how my lips look so much better when I put on a lip liner, even if it's like the same shade because it just defines the edges more. And then, like I said, I had that like darkness cool tone. So I just thought this would be a fun thing to try out. I'm 
always down to try out new beauty treatments, especially if it's something that's gonna cut down on my everyday getting ready time. 10 North. Okay, sorry, the directions interrupted me, but all of her work is just so natural and so beautiful looking, and so I trust her with my face completely, and I'm super excited because this appointment will be the final result. The first one was kind of just like a tease because we were really just color correcting, and this time we actually get to change the shade of my lips. I'm like 15 minutes out, I'm sitting in traffic. Of course I forgot my vlog camera, so I'm vlogging on my phone, but it's fine. Um, I'm also a little bit nervous because the last time I had a crazy reaction. Obviously everyone ends up getting a little bit swollen, that's totally normal because you're literally tattooing your face, but she posts tons and tons of before and after shots on her Instagram and she'll always take videos directly after and everyone's lips look like amazing and just a little plump from the swelling. I had this crazy intense swelling and I looked like one of those Instagram filters that people use as a joke. Like not the ones that just make your lips look a little bit bigger but the like kidding ones that people have been using lately with the huge huge pillow lips. I forget it's called something like pillow. That's how I looked in real life. Like it was like I was a cartoon character. It was so bad. Thankfully it only lasted for like 18 hours and then my lips were pretty much back to normal but I looked crazy and I'm a little nervous that it might happen again so I've been taking Arnica tablets all day today to try and help they're supposed to help with like swelling and bruising so I have been taking them this morning and I'll keep taking them after my appointment and I'm hoping that that helps but I'm also prepared to look like an absolute psycho again and I'll show you guys to keep it moist, okay, during mm -hmm. the healing process. It gets more trapped in. I'm like a psycho about that anyway. Yeah, okay, that's good. So we did this side, oh my just God. one pass. Do you see all the darkness kind of like lifting? Mm -hmm. It's becoming a lot more even compared to this side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty nice, huh? The swelling. <laughs> I know. So cute. Like you can see like the inner inner. Mm. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Mm. And even these spots, it's called Florida spots. Mm -hmm. It's very, very common in lips. You can color them and look like there were a lot here, but yeah. it's like pretty much like all Okay, so I just finished. I'm obviously very swollen. It's like honestly a little bit hard to talk because my lips are so big, but believe it or not, this is less swollen than I was last time. So she did some like cooling, like, I don't know, cooling um, like cloths with some special treatment on them in between passes to help with the swelling. And also obviously I took my Arnica tablets, which I need to take some more right now, but yeah, they're less swollen, so I already feel better about it. I feel like I'll ice them when I get home, and I know that they'll probably be back to normal by tomorrow. So that's good, and I'm so, so happy with the color. Um, this isn't, like, the final color. I won't really see the final color for, like, four to six or even eight weeks, but this is, like, pretty close to what it'll be, and I just feel like it looks so good. It looks so natural. I will insert some pictures that I got from her of, like, what my lips looked like before and I honestly was shocked like when she showed me the photos I was shocked at how much they had even changed after the first time because I kind of forgot like my upper lip was so dark and cool toned and I had even some like darker spots on my lower lips and 
even just after the first color correcting session, there was like such a big difference that I forgot about because it, it's been so long. And I guess I just never referenced old photos of my lips. So I'm super excited to see how they heal this time around because I feel like all of that cool toned darkness is gonna be gone. So I'm gonna head home. Hopefully Gerald is not as freaked out as last time. Last time he was like so scarred because he didn't, I mean, neither of us knew we were gonna be that swollen. And obviously he's just like a boy. He hates all procedures in general. He doesn't want me to get anything done. So I feel like this time he A, knows what to expect and B, it's not quite as jarring. So I'm gonna head home. I debated stopping somewhere to get like an ice pack or something to put on my lips while I drive, but I don't want to put a mask on right now. And I obviously can't go inside without one. So I just don't want to put a mask because they're like a fresh, they're literally like a fresh cut. So I don't want to get them infected. So I need to go home where I have fresh masks. I just don't have any like clean ones in the car. I feel like all of them have been used. And I need like one of those medical ones that like is just like a one time use and then I'll throw it away. So. Okay, a little next day update. I'm obviously still swollen, but they've definitely gone down since last night. They've even gone down since I woke up a couple hours ago. So it's like 1230 right now. And the last time I woke up pretty swollen and I'd say within like three to four hours of me waking up, they were pretty normal. Like this still looks like I got like a bad filler job or something, but I shot a photo the last time within a few hours so I have high hopes that in like the next two hours or three hours that they will pretty much be back to normal again but yeah this is what they look like at the moment the color is also again like a lot darker than what it's going to be when they're all settled and like the final color sets in, in a few weeks but I'm super happy overall I feel like it's already going better than the last time with like the color correcting because it was a little blotchy and everything and I just like know what to expect so I'm not stressed about it and Gerald's not freaked out about it this time. So here is my update. I feel like my bottom lip is pretty much normal. It's just the top lip that literally looks like I got some bad filler. So yeah, I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Okay, day two lip update I'm still a little swollen I don't know if you guys can tell it's easy for me to tell because I know what my lips look like but yeah I'm actually pretty shocked that I'm still swollen I don't really mind it though like I think it looks good I don't think that anyone who doesn't know me well would even be able to tell but yeah still a little swollen and they're starting to get really dry today which sucks it's kind of like they're just gonna feel super chapped for the next few days and all I can do is just to keep putting the glossy ointment on and I'm not allowed to put anything else on my lips. Um, I have to wipe them down a couple times a day with these like pre-moistened sheets that I think are just like to clean them off and keep them from getting an infection. And I'm like not allowed to do anything. I'm not allowed to touch them. I'm not allowed to rub them together, lick them. I'm not supposed to eat spicy foods or like let any foods touch my lips. Just supposed to like eat with fork and knife can't kiss um yeah i just have to kind of like let them be and keep them moist for the next week so sucks that they're getting dry i wasn't prepared i thought that would maybe start tomorrow but overall i'm super happy with them the color is still gonna change it won't be this dark they get darker and then they like get lighter again because they're gonna flake and everything but i'm super happy with them i think that the shape looks really nice and defined and i'm currently getting ready to go Bless you. <laughs> I am currently getting ready to go to an event for like the first time in a really long time. It's an outdoor workout event. So I have on a little workout set and I'm just like fixing my hair. I'm way overdue for a Brazilian blowout right now. So it's, it's like curly and unruly and my extensions are really grown out. So they're kind of like, they do this thing where they get a little dreadlocky. All sorts of fun things so I'm just trying to pull myself together a little bit before this event and I will check in with you guys in a couple hours and let you know if there's any progress okay day three lip update so it is now Wednesday I got my lips done on Sunday this is what they look like the swelling is finally gone so 
This is like my actual normal lips. They are extremely, extremely dry today, like almost unbearably so. It's like all I can like think about and feel. And basically my only job is to keep them moisturized, keep them clean and not pick at them or like accelerate the flaking at all so that they're starting to flake off. It's really similar to microblading if you guys have ever gotten that done where basically it like scabs over, flakes off, and then you start to see the true color after that because it's a little bit darker as it's healing. So my only job is to not accelerate the flaking, not pick it or let it, just like let it happen completely on its own so that I don't lose any of the color. And yeah, I am someone who's normally obsessed, obsessed with chapstick. Like I keep one with me everywhere I go. When I work out, I keep one in my sports bra. I sleep with one next to me on my nightstand. I have one in my car, in my purse. Like, I'm a psycho about it. I literally never have chapped lips. So this is like my worst nightmare because no matter how much of the stuff I put on them, they still feel dry and chapped at all times. It's almost a little bit like hard to talk and to laugh and to smile because when I like spread my mouth too much, I can feel them like cracking. So it's a terrible feeling, but it'll be over in a few days. I think this will probably be my last update on this video because the swelling is all gone and there's like nothing more to see. It's going to be like at least another five to seven days before they're like back to normal and then a few weeks before the true true color is like showing. So I'll probably just keep you guys updated on the weekly videos. So check back there for any other updates. But yeah. I also wanted to touch on quickly like I don't want you guys to be confused by the by the footage from both appointments so basically in my first appointment we just ended up color correcting my lips so if you heard her talk about it in the second video or in the second appointment she was talking about like some darkness and some discoloration spots that I had on my lips so the first appointment we strictly just color corrected my lips because they were kind of dark and purpley and cool toned and then in the second appointment we really achieved like my full dream lips we defined the borders a bit more and customized the color to something like a little bit more pinky and natural and less cool toned so that's why it was like slightly different what she was doing in each appointment the first one she didn't define the border at all she just focused on changing the darkness and the cool tones i will insert a photo so that you guys can see the before of my lips before i ever had anything done and yeah obviously check back the vlogs for updates if you're interested thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe and i will talk to you guys soon